is going on guys it is fatal river day bringing you guys a video and the topic today is should you buy an external monitor what you're looking at here is the msi uh, g2 or g24c uh, link it down in the description below if you guys want to check that out this is the msi monitor right here this is my secondary monitor today we're going to be talking about the main one here and as you can see it is uh, it does have 144 hertz as you saw right there in these settings we were talking about that with an external monitor using a laptop or uh, mainly a laptop because that's what you would be using an external monitor for right here you can see that I'm playing uh, Warzone or Rebirth Island to be exact here on the HP Pavilion gaming laptop link in the description below if you guys want to see that I have tons of videos on the HP Pavilion and everything like that what we're going to be talking about today is an external monitor should you get one is it worth it what does it do and those kind of things so I get a lot of questions on should I get an external monitor. I myself was uh, very you know on the fence about getting one, or I have a main PC obviously as well. So I did wind up getting, of course, a 144 hertz monitor. This has FreeSync on it. Now, should you get an external monitor? So what an external monitor does is going to give you the higher hertz. As you can see, we have an FPS counter in the left corner up there. Um, this is the HDMI cable that can come from the uh, laptop to the monitor, and that's how you can use the external monitor. So what does an external monitor do typically, especially for a laptop like this, is it's giving you a better visual. It's not going to give you more FPS. There's a very hard misconception out there that a higher hertz monitor is going to give you better FPS. Completely false information. I've been seeing this a lot of times go around. It is completely, utterly false. What an external monitor does is it gives you a better visual. You're getting higher hertz. Those higher hertz are giving you a better visual, what you're seeing on the screen. Right now, 60 hertz is going to kind of look like just your normal kind of slash console. Now, consoles these days can even actually do 120 hertz as well if you have a monitor or TV that can support that. Um... So what an external monitor is doing is, again, giving you a better visual. So is it worth it and should you buy one? I 100% think it's a very good upgrade and something you should invest your money in if you're going to get one. Uh, again, it's up to you, but it is not going to increase FPS or anything like that. But it could increase your game as far as your gameplay because you can see better. You can see your the screen, the visual is going to be better. It's going to look more clear. Uh, and you're going to have a bigger screen probably than the laptop you're on. For instance, of course, the monitor is bigger than the monitor that's attached to the laptop. So that being said, you are getting some upgrades in that aspect. Um, but um, as far as, you know, should you buy one? Again, that's completely up to you guys. But I would highly recommend that you do get an external monitor if that's something you would like to see. If you want higher hertz and stuff like that. Plus, again, you could always use the external monitor. Um, you know, for, uh, if you plan to get a lap, uh, not, excuse me, not a laptop, but if you plan to get a PC later on, you could use the PC with that, like, kind of like how I did. At first, I bought one just to do some videos with the laptop, and then, of course, obviously, I started using it as my main monitors for my PC. Um, but that being said, guys, again, yeah, should you buy an external monitor? 100% absolutely, if you want to. It does increase, again, your visual and does give you, I, I believe, a better playing experience with a higher hertz. But it does not, let me repeat this, does not increase FPS. So if you think it's going to give you some FPS boost, I know there's a lot of people out here saying, I mean, I've seen YouTubers way bigger than me, TikTokers saying, oh, it gives you more FPS. That is completely false information. External monitors not give you more FPS. Hertz and FPS have nothing to do with each other. So that's entirely two different subjects, and they do not give you a higher, of kin, higher FPS. But if you guys choose to buy an external monitor, I, I definitely 100% think it's a good step in the right direction. It's definitely a, a well good upgrade from whatever laptop you're playing from. Or again, if you have a PC, you can use it for both. Um, take in mind if you get this MSI monitor or some of them before, not all of them are like that. But um, the MSI monitor has a cap of 120 hertz when using an HDMI cable. And the 144 hertz only is obtained if you're using a DVI port that most laptops it don't have. Um, and the DVI port also gives you the ability to use FreeSync, where the HDMI cable does not. But you still get the 120 FPS. So, or 120 FPS, excuse me, 120 hertz. So honestly, if you were going to get one, uh, I would recommend that you guys get a 120 hertz monitor to start off with. Even a 100 hertz monitor. Is a step in the right direction. You know, you don't have to have these 160 hertz, 140 hertz monitors to really get a better visual. A 100 hertz monitor from a 60 hertz monitor is still a huge upgrade. So, should you buy an external monitor? 
yes, you definitely should. They are definitely a good upgrade for a laptop or whatever you may be using, and you should definitely get one. But again, that's up to you guys. Links in the description below if you want to check that out. If you've got any questions or comments and stuff like that, leave me, of course, the comments down below. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And uh, remember to like and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.